Thanks for watching this video. This is Sijish and this video I will walk you through the deployment process of HD Insight on Azure. So before doing this, so you need to register in Microsoft Azure portal. So that requires your credit card information and other details. So once you have the credentials, so you can log into that and uh, so it's a very easy to deploy an HD Insight cluster. So it's basically a Hortonworks cluster in backend and uh, you can do the installation within few clicks. So let me go to the Azure portal first. So open the browser and type portal.azure.com. So you will get a login page. So use your credential. So you can use uh, this option to add your credential. So once you have added, then click that and type your password here. So you will be getting this Azure console first. Then, uh, okay, so it takes some time. So the first thing you need to do initially, so go to the resource group and create one resource group. Okay, so you can click here and it's a very sim simple and easy and straightforward. Just use the region and what is the type of subscription, just create that. So I already have one uh, resource group. So because the resource group is easy to manage the resource again if multiple people are using the same uh, subscription then it's easy for us to uh, track so okay once you have that resource group click that resource group and uh, so on that resource group we have an option to create the resource click that option then you will get a page like this so here you have a lot of options and lot of things to select so just search HD inside here search with the keyword HD inside you will get that so select this and uh, okay so what are the things you need to do it's uh, here and uh, just create that cluster first just click this create option then it will walk you through the basic configuration things so what is the cluster name okay so just use CGHD or I can use HD inside then the subscription type is a free trial and the cluster type okay so what is the type of cluster you need so you have different options like Hadoop cluster HBase one storm spark ML and uh, so I'm selecting this one and uh, by default it's a uh, Linux then so what is the Hadoop version you need see it's a uh, 3.6 or this one select that then so enterprise security package okay so you can select the default one and uh, cluster admin login name and admin password so this is a credential so you need to provide when you get an ambire window then ssh shell and the resource group okay so i have already existing resource group which i created use that and the location is the data center you can select whatever the data center you want i think so we have uh, azure has a lot of data center across a uh, different uh, geographic location the so select the one uh, which is near to your area and click next okay so here so you have to take uh, choose the storage type then I am choosing the Azure storage then the subscription method so my subscription or oh sorry so I think uh, it's not there so I have to create a new one uh, then that's it I think uh, it's not a valid name so it should not contain and this one okay so that's okay and uh, container okay so this is also okay 
so I'm selecting most of the thing as a default one and uh, this also click next uh, then uh, the next is uh, the summary page okay so how much you have to uh, pay for this and it's around uh, two, 205 Indian rupees and uh, that is for one hour on an average and uh, it has the six, total six nodes two head node and four workers and it comes with the Hadoop distribution 2.7 and uh, um, HD Insight version 3.6 and uh, the storage so let me create this by clicking create button so you can see here like uh, the deployment is in uh, progress okay so you have to uh, wait some time so maybe a few minutes like 10 15 minutes it it take but i don't know maybe depending on the storage and other factors this time varies but you have to wait uh, till uh, this comes into a stable state so now the cluster deployment has completed so on the dashboard itself you will be getting that information directly or if you are not getting so go to the dashboard and then so click that a cluster and you will be getting all this information here okay. so this is the URL copy this URL and paste it in the browser okay so it's asking for username so the username is the same as the username we have given while provisioning the machine it's admin and the password we have given during that HD inside uh, cluster provisioning okay so wait some time because it it may take some time to load this yes we got Ambari window okay so this is a cluster and it's having HDFS yarn map reduce does hive scope etc and one thing is but here we don't have an option to add another component but we have start and stop option and if you go to the host so you can see all this host and uh, from the dashboard itself you can see how many data nodes are there and uh, total node information you can get also the Hadoop about the Hadoop distribution you can get the information from here So, but uh, from here you can add the services, but even though it's uh, disabled on that main page, then the version, it's, uh, it will give you the version of HTTP, it's a 2.6.3. And uh, so the other information like uh, how to connect to the edge node. And uh, so those information you can get. So click, okay. So other ways, uh, like you can view that Ambar, get that Ambari reviews from here. It's a same page, but it's a pointing to Ambari review, like a high view does you all those things. Like so, normal Ambari, you will get those. And uh, also, there it's a easy option to scale this cluster. So if you just click this scale, so you can easily increase the number of worker nodes. But the head node and uh, other like number of worker node you can increase and then save it will uh, increase the worker holes and uh, the dashboard uh, but we have already have the dashboard availability and uh, so this is about the host information and uh, application so all those things you can uh, go through again the automation uh, script okay so automation script is here so you can get that script on the various uh, I mean either CLI then um, uh, shell script then powershell.net and Ruby scripts are available that can be used for automating this process so that's about Ambari uh, I mean a HD inside cluster build it's easy and straightforward so you can also try this so once you have done with this so you can delete this cluster immediately just click that and uh, so there is an option or uh, to delete that 
okay so now uh, just go to the main page and uh, here you can delete that Let's say again. yes so it's not admin it's a ssh user so this is the user so you have to use this string so this is the user and you can use the password whatever the password you set here so copy this url till here so if you are doing it from an ssh from a terminal so you can use but if you are using putty or any remote connectivity tool just copy this and paste it in putty so this URL is, I mean, this user is having the sudo super user privilege. So you can just sudo and get this super user privilege. And just view the etc host sometimes. Yeah, it's having a lot of entries. Like, uh, so mainly, so these are the host which is added uh, to this cluster. Uh, so hope this is uh, clear for you how to provision an HD inside cluster and uh, how to connect and uh, both Ambari and terminal. So thanks for watching this video. So please do subscribe to this channel. Also watch my other playlist. So I will be keep uploading contents over time. Thank you. Bye.